Once you've registered and you're in your account, you'll probably want to search your trip, your first trip right away. So we'll pick an address here. And we'll search to our work address. Once you have your two check boxes here, you can click Let's Go. You'll see that it pulls up a map with multiple results. The first result you're looking at is the carpool options. So you can see where my trip starts and where it finishes. And I can click on Show Details on any of these potential matches to see if they'll fit my schedule. If I like what I see, I can communicate with somebody through message. Remember that when you click send, your email address will be shown with this user. And you'll have to communicate with them through email. If you don't find a match that you think is suitable for you, you can go ahead and post your own carpool. This function will pull up the, the search that you've already done here. You can indicate whether or not it's a round trip, so whether you're doing it in the morning, in the evening. And you can put in your details. The things you might want to put in here, for example, are the days of the week that you're traveling, the times of day that you're traveling, and any additional information you want people to know. You can also share this with all of the users on the networks, or you can share it with your selected networks. And then if I save it to favorites, it means that I posted a carpool, and that other people can see what I've done. If I'm not interested in carpooling and I'm interested in a different mode of transportation, I can choose walking or cycling, and both of these options will show me a proper route to take, approximately how much time it'll take me, the distance, and the calories burned getting there. I can also indicate that I like transit results, and I can see that there are options here for me. If I didn't want to serve time at 9 a.m., I could revise my search quite easily by clicking on this button. And I can decide to travel tomorrow at 7 a.m. instead. And that will revise all of my search results here. So you'll see that my transit results have now altered. The driving function is useful because it will show you what route you can take if you're in a carpool. It will also show you the approximate cost of your trip so that if you are carpooling, you can divide the amount of money by the number of people in the car. And that's your search.